your flavors. I say good evening, we're flavors! Dude, I think we got it in the bag, man. Sorry, man. Mate, you did it honestly. I was, I listened intensely. We're, we're, going, we're going for it one more time, man. Yeah. No. No, from that second chorus. Because everything else is fine, mate. It's sounding really good. Make me if you call. in Flovers, heroin. Heroin, yeah, I don't know why we always say it, it's just funny. That's well heroin. Why did you open the door You ready, bro? Oh, That's still really wow. out. Now. This gun is awful. Calm down, did you even tune it? That's some, 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 some mad scuba dee shit. Just strum it once. Yeah, 
YouTubers. Hi guys, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we start off with what you all do in the band? Should we just go round and you can go first? tell me what yeah. you do? Oh, yeah. My, I'm Henry and I play bass. I'm Stan, I play guitar. Connor, drums. I'm Matisse and I play guitar and I sing. Excellent, okay. Should we start with how your band actually formed in the first place? Oh, I'm going to go for this Henry. one. Basically, right, <laughs> I had um, our vocalist, I had one of his mates on Snapchat and I messaged him asking him if he wanted to join a band because it's something I'd wanted to do for a while. And he said to me, uh, yeah, I've got a mate who'd be interested in singing. And that was me. That was Matisse Murray over there. Yeah. Um, and so we started a band, we did that for a while, and then uh, we quit that because it wasn't going great. No. But then we messaged Stan over here, who went to school with him in junior oh, school. Yeah. So then we played for about, what, four months together? Like, things were, we thought we were a lot better than we were. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah formed, we, we formed, we formed Yeah, November, we thought we were quality. Got that, we got that demo out, didn't we, on Facebook? Growing up, what were your musical influences? You know, what was the first, first ever um, single you bought, for example? First people I remember listening to, mainly because my dad, were Stone Roses, Keen and Coldplay. Oh, what good taste he has. No, yeah, my dad, all my musical taste really comes from him, to be Coldplay. honest. Coldplay. Coldplay are good, all right? I love yeah. a Coldplay. Don't diss what you don't know. Um, Stan, do you want to go next? Like the, the Pixies and Radiohead. They're my two favourite bands. Excellent. Uh, yeah, being a punk is all about new more Lamy and Levelers, really. Oh, nice. So, okay. I remember the first single I bought. I regret it now, but I remember in Sainsbury's I bought um, Mika, that CD with like, that, that first Mika CD. I actually remember the first CD I got, it was like a Crazy, fro uh, crazy Frog CD. Oh yeah! It was like compilation. CDs, isn't it? Yeah, I'll it tell like you what, songs, first CD I genuinely I got for Christmas was the Top Gear mix with all the Top Gear songs. Oh, oh, they used some quality. That was a banger. Yeah, it was that? a good album. That? Had that, had that on replay. We could, we could start a whole new program, couldn't we? Called Confessions of the Shout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, actually, that's true, yeah. It sounds really cool, yeah, man. It sounds really, it sounds really flat. It's good to sound different in the room because you've got different bands to offer. You've got a different room. Have you got a different room? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black ones everywhere. Why are you going over there, mate? Like, this just doesn't sound good. Well, keep playing around. You don't like that? Um, what's wrong with it? It's really flat. Oh, let, me, let me just check really on the top. Flat. It's flat. The, you, uh, the, the pickup on the Jaguar is raised down too much. This pickup, so you can stop getting the full tone. Oh, wait, well, hang on. When you switch back to the. We had that at the end there. Then you have the other one. I actually prefer to get a second pickup. I didn't say that. That's more up. Go for that one then, man. No, I'm, oh, I, don't, I think I don't want to use that because it's too, too much of a deep pickup. It just sounds more full. I'm, I'm just going to tune this guitar quickly. Yeah. It's cool, man. Perfect craft. <laughs> I feel like I need to try and play Minecraft on it. I feel like I don't. You love it. Minecraft was fun as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. I love it. It's so shit, it's graphics. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but it's but huge. Loves it more. It's, that's it what's is. great about it. If yeah. it was realistic, it'd be crap. Graphics, yeah. Things of the graphics aren't actually that bad. They are. Yeah. It. It's not. because it's just so. Like, all we're doing is making some shitty house, and it's fun as fuck. <laughs> I don't find that kind of stuff fun though. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, honestly, you'll just lose your life on the yeah, ingredient. I already know it's in the studio, so I can't wait to go back to see what emails we've got tonight. So. Boom! Sorry, Kim. Okay. Doing my recent play, man. Oh, do you ever get that where you like, listen to a little mix on and you get really embarrassed if you play someone looks at your spot on? <laughs> I don't listen to the mix. I sometimes just look to see how famous they are and end up listening to them. <laughs> Just run from the beginning. Okay, well, Damn that cliche! Okay, that needs to be done again.
Who writes the music? Like mainly like I, I have a guitar and then I'd like sit in my room, write a song and then it's kind of an inspiration. Like, I just like scribble stuff down and then get a song together and then I'd bring it to these guys. They kind of... I Put her on twist of, on it. Yeah, they, we... So it changes so much from wow. like how I originally started. Like I've just got probably got a verse and a chorus, and then we'll work on like the hook. We'll work on the chorus together. So yeah, it's a, it's a process that we all get really involved with. But like the bare bones. Of it Excellent. So you're the musical through. genius over there, are you? Yeah, he he's the godchild. <laughs> Brilliant. So, do you um do you actually read music and write music? I don't know. I, I do. I've got quite a yeah. Do. You do. Yeah. I've been. Uh, I do trumpet lessons. Did and, you? Uh, I still do. Actually. Oh, you still do. I got two GCSEs. I do B Tech music <laughs> <laughs> When you do lessons, is that I like you don't have to do lessons, but for anyone that's got the opportunity to, I 100 percent would recommend it. But don't. Yeah. Don't whatever learn instrument music. it is, Sounds. just do it. Don't learn music. It's the only thing. Just there's no point because. So, I disagree. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play what I played now if it wasn't for doing lessons. But I, I think younger. trumpets are a lot different to guitar. Like guitar, you got tab, and so like it's just so much easier to learn through. Tab. I think everyone's different, aren't they? Yeah. Some can do it by ear. Other people have to kind of have sheet music in front of them. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Knowing how to read music though brings out an originality. I think. Yeah. It, it like enables you to either not do what you see from like when you're in lessons or take the good parts and then bring them out in whatever you want to do as a musician. No, not said who's next. I'm Connor. Let's start again. Go that way, go that way. Did he stand Connor Henry? Right. Has it taken you to learn an instrument? I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, took me. I don't. I fucking hate that question. Let's skip that. We're not having that question. Yeah, Still that's a shit question. Piece, What's the honest. point? Huh? Still learning now. To be yeah, we're all you don't really now. ever learn. You never you? stop learning. Learn every day. No, they're pretty cool. It's bit, it's, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't know. It's Pop like rockers. because we mostly played in Portsmouth. It's mostly been our mates, but. I think hopefully as time goes on, like when we've we definitely start... started, we've started seeing more people coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool when you start. We've got people travelling for us. Yeah. When you start out and you just see your mates, but then you play like the fifth or sixth show, and then you start seeing people you don't know. That's when it starts to get really interesting. Joe, the reason apparently on your stories that you've got a picture of me in black and white because of my hair colour. You don't like it. Oh, yeah, I, I, I said that. 
Very boring and dull place here. I think that they tried really hard, but it just it's just really it's work. just dead. No, I don't think I've it's jumped dead. in there before that little pond. It was like really late notice. We got called out a week before, and it's just like, do you want to play a gig in Worthing? Germany was good. And then um, yeah. Germany, yeah, yeah playing Amsterdam, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Glasgow was an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah Reading playing Glasgow, right. yeah. We were introducing it at Reading. That was mad as well. Oh, that was pretty mad. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are your future plans? Like, in Portsmouth because we just love it and we want trying to build up the fan base here. Do lots of drugs and die. Young. <laughs> 27, 27 <laughs> club. Do you see your band being a long term thing? Yeah. Not this, right? Yeah, no, I do. I do completely. Do it. Don't just take it too serious at the start. Yeah. Don't go in it thinking you're going to be massive. Yeah, but don't stay do... Out of our way. Stay out of our way. Stay out of our way. Don't I think... Stay in your own lane. <laughs> doing, like, covers and that, it kind of... I don't know, it really slows down the process at the start. It's good to, like, understand structures of songs if you're really new to it, but if you've got material, just work on it straight away. There's no point of, like, holding back and just... I don't know, it's, you, you should just go for it. If it feels right, just go. Like, that's what we did. Like, as soon as Stan joined, as soon as Connor joined, and we've always said, like, oh, it'd be cool to a cover, but we never actually ever got around to doing it because we've just always been so focused on where we want to go, like, where shows want to play it. And we've had, like, little goals, and we've, we've achieved them all. Like, it's been really good. I thought you said little girls. <laughs> yeah, so <did> I. <laughs> little goals. <laughs> right. Cool. Is that cool? That's all wrapped up. That's beautiful. Thank you. 